You alright guys, Clinicality here, back today with another FIFA 16 Ultimate Team Player Review. Now today we are reviewing the newly released Inform Riyad Boudaboos from the French League 1. Now I have used this guy's regular card and it was actually really quite nice to use so I was quite excited to use this one and see what he was capable of doing. On screen obviously you can see the team that we went with, it was a mainly French League 1 side with that German Bundesliga trio of Hummels, Boateng and Lahm at the back and it did play really well. Now in terms of player instructions, we did decide to tell him to stay forward. I would rather have my cam constantly forward making plays happen and I also told him to stay on the edge of the box for crosses because I wanted to test out his long shots and I didn't feel like he was that effective in the air. Now as always, we played six games with him. We managed to score seven goals and get three assists. That is not bad at all, especially for a player that only cost us 24,750 coins. And since making this video, he has dropped to around 15k on each console, which is really, really cheap and definitely worth giving him a try. In terms of his base stats, he has 76 pace, 83 dribbling, 78 shooting, 35 defending, 80 passing and 62 physical. On to the in-game stats now, and as you can see, he does have some well-rounded high 70 stats. However, he does only have 58 strength, which is pretty damn terrible and only 47 jumping. Skill attributes, a hell of a lot better, there are some high 80s in there with his 89 penalties, 84 dribbling as well, that is a massive stat for him, and the 81 curve could definitely come in useful as well. He is 5 foot 10, he plays cam or centre mid, he is left footed, medium low work rates, 4 star weak foot, 4 star skill moves, and he has the flair trait to go with everything else. Now for me, when I was looking at those stats, the one thing that stood out massively for me was the fact that he had 4 star weak foot and 4 star skill moves. Both of those can be massively helpful and I'm going to start off by talking about this guy's skill moves. 4 star skill moves on an attacking midfielder in this formation is so so helpful and it really did work well for him. His skills feel really nice to use, they're silky and responsive and they definitely helped me out a hell of a lot in getting past a lot of players. To go with that 4 star skill moves, his basic dribbling is really really nice to use. He feels agile and he turns really really well and overall his dribbling just felt really nice to use. Now the 4 star weak foot however, I expected to be massive. Obviously being in that cam roll, being able to use both feet is so so helpful. However, for some reason his 4 star weak foot felt more like 2, it was terrible. He could not use his right foot for anything. Now he is left footed and don't get me wrong, his left foot is incredible, however, his right foot was just dreadful, I don't know why, it didn't feel very good for me at all, and it did stop me from being able to do a hell of a lot with this guy's card just because you can only do it on that one foot. Now because of his weak foot feeling really bad, it meant his passing was really inconsistent for me. When you have the ball on his left foot, his passing was absolutely superb, so well weighted, everything went spot on where I wanted it really really nice to use however on his right foot it just didn't work passes had too much power in them or they were underpowered or they were just stray and overall it just messed up his card a hell of a lot more than it should have done now the same thing goes for his shooting in particular his finishing his finishing was so inconsistent for me it wasn't the best on his left foot let alone on his right if i tried to hit a shot with this guy's right foot it went so wide i didn't look like it even had a chance of going in the back of the net However, the one redeeming factor about this guy's shooting for me was his long shots. His long shots are absolutely incredible. If you get the ball outside the box and get it onto his left foot, the ball will most likely end up in the back of the net. Really, really nice long shots. Now, the last things to talk about are his pace and his strength. Nothing special on either of them. His pace was not too bad. His strength was a little bit weak and occasionally you would notice he'd get pushed off the ball fairly often. So his strength isn't the best. However, he is very persistent as a player and for that reason, he seemed to get himself in so many good positions and he also drew a lot of fouls, which if you have a good free kick taker, can be a massive plus for your team. Now, over the six games, he picked up an average match rating of 8.8, .8, which is really, really high. A hell of a lot higher than I expected. However, it was because he got himself in so many good positions. Now his goals and assists do not reflect that match rating because a lot of the time he messed up in the final moments of the chances, either he put it wide, the keeper saved it, or he made a bad pass. However, the game rated him off of the amount of chances that he seemed to be getting, and he did get a hell of a lot. Now under pros, we have long shots 
absolutely superb long shots love taking them with this guy and they are a hell of a lot of fun to use dribbling as well this guy's dribbling feels so nice to use you can dribble around pretty much anyone definitely a massive positive on his card obviously the four star skill moves to go with that dribbling really nice i've also put persistent he is a very persistent player and he does win the ball back high up the pitch a hell of a lot and because of that he gets himself into good positions and therefore draws fouls which is the last point that i've got under pros now under cons i have finishing and passing just because they are both very inconsistent you don't know what you're going to get with him and for me that is a massive downfall also his weak foot is on there because definitely did not feel like four star for me and lastly i put his strength because he is very weak only at i think 58 strength it was on his stats and it did let his card down a fair bit overall though i'm going to give him a 7 out of 10 not the best rating in the world nor is it the worst and for this guy's price tag i definitely recommend you go and try him out for yourselves he is very very cheap and fairly easy to fit into teams you don't have to use french league one players there are a fair few nice algerian players to put in you could even link him into a premier league team with the likes of mares but yeah definitely go out and try him out for yourselves because he is a good player and he is very very cheap the only reason i've given him a 7 out of 10 is because of his inconsistency and if his weak foot felt like it should have done definitely would have been upwards of an 8 8.5 maybe even a 9 out of 10 but yeah, if you guys do decide to go and pick him up for yourselves, let me know down in the comments how you got on with him. Always like to see that. Other than that though, if you guys did enjoy the video or found it useful in any way at all, then a like would be much appreciated. Click that subscribe button if you want to see more. I do have another player review coming out tomorrow. So stay tuned on my channel for that. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy.